Merck KGAA, the German version, of course, is uh, raising its full year forecast after third quarter profit beat estimates. Of course, that raising guidance, a lot to do with factoring in the numbers from Versum now. Let's speak to the CFO, uh, Marcus Kunitz, uh, who joins us now. Marcus, very good to speak to you this morning. Can I ask you about the performance at the life sciences business, described by some of my colleagues as, as very strong? It's now the biggest of your three divisions over at Merck. Are you tempted ever to spin it off separately to have investors focus entirely on life sciences, which does seem to be doing very well? Um, good morning. Yeah, uh, the life science business is indeed uh, doing very well at the moment, and um, spinning off that business is uh, not on our minds. It's not on your minds. Are you now satisfied that your three divisions are the right sides, Marcus? Because you talked for a long time about having these three areas, healthcare, life science, and performance materials as equals. Are they now the right size? Um, so we, we do not have, let's say, a fixed portfolio ratio. So that means a kind of percentage number in mind how our portfolio composition should look like. Um, what we, however, believe is that the current three pillar structure, so uh, containing healthcare, life science, and performance materials, is the right one with which we want to go into the future. Uh, and while we now take, let's say, an M&A break and focus on the successful integration of Versum and full delivery of the synergies, um, after that, after, let's say, a period of around about two years, we would, of course, then be open again to uh, look for further um, uh, strategically relevant and financially attractive uh, M&A opportunities to develop our group and the three-pillar mm. portfolio further. Let me ask you a little bit about what's going on in healthcare. Rebif, the multiple sclerosis uh, a drug that you offer, we've seen sales falling. Is there a bottom to the sales decline that you have in mind, Marcus? When and, and at what level do you expect sales to stabilise, if that's what will happen? Um. So the bottom is zero? No, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, um, the <laughs> sales decline will, will continue. Um, and that is something what, what we have already told the market since, since years. I mean, it is an older off-patent product, however, still very effective with a very attractive safety profile. So we believe that the decline will be moderate and under control. However, we expect to see over the next couple of years a continuous and steady decline, let's say in the range between 10 and 15 percent eventually. Yeah? So that's our current estimate for the future. However, let uh, me let make me one more point. Um, we have, yes, go ahead. Uh, we have uh, in this year now um, got the approval for Mavenclad, um, another MS drug, which we have uh, meanwhile launched in, in 70 countries in Europe and also in the United States. And in the third quarter, for the first time since years, the uh, neurology and immunology franchise is growing again. That means the incremental Mavenclad sales are now overcompensating the Rebif decline. And we expect this to continue and even widen going forward into the future. Let me ask you about another drug, Bavencio. Um, it, it did deliver better than estimated sales, I think, this time around, but hasn't had a great year. What expectations should investors have around this, this product? Now, um, for Bavento, we are, we, will, we are still in front of having a couple of important readouts. So, for example, lung and uh, first-line bladder in 2020. So, um, we have guided for this year, or we have renewed our guidance for this year, slightly increased to roughly an expected sales of around about 100 million. Um, and we are looking forward to the next data readouts of these two bigger indications in 2020. And then let's see wh where we stand afterwards. Um, just briefly, the German economy dodging a recession, so not in recession. I know it's a global business you run there, Marcus, but does it feel like an economy that is running at a very weak level? At the moment, actually, we don't because uh, many of our markets are in, in good shape. So healthcare, anyhow, is, is pretty, pretty independent from, uh, uh, from global economic developments. The life science markets are still in, in, are in very good shape, and we do not expect this to change in the nearer future. Where we see, however, some weaknesses actually is in the automotive market, uh, where our um, uh, surface solutions business and performance materials is affected somewhat. Okay. Um, but we do not believe that uh, 2020 will be a heavy recession year. We do right. not believe this yet.